hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i just decided to film like a little transformation kind of video we are in quarantine and i have nowhere to go but i was tired of looking down bad so i decided to do my makeup and i style my hair i kind of already had um styled it before i started filming the video but I went ahead and finished styling it on camera. So y'all know I usually hop straight into the video, but today I do want to talk about this hair a little bit. I was sent this wig by Julia Hair. It is their 22 inch Brazilian body wave wig. Um, it is, I believe 180% density. It might be 150, but all the details will be in the description box. So if you're interested in this wig purchasing this wig everything will be in the description box so make sure you go check that out i actually really really like this hair um the only con about this wig is that the lace is a little too dark for me this is the brown lace um not transparent lace and that was my fault because i didn't clarify um when i was being sent the wig but other than that the wig is literally amazing it barely sheds at all the only time it really shed was when i was plucking the hairline but that's gonna that's inevitable it's gonna shed um but other than that the hair barely sheds at all this is actually like really good quality hair and i'm not just saying that because it sent me the hair because i have gotten not so good quality hair but this hair is actually really really nice if you're interested in purchasing the wig make sure you go check out um the details in the description and for anyone wondering i will go ahead and leave all the makeup products and the products that i use on my hair in the description box if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below different videos you want to see from me i'm trying to get back on my youtube game um but yeah other than that like comment and subscribe to my channel we're on the road to 50k and let's get straight to the so i already started styling my hair off camera i did a little like swoop bang this is my first time doing it so i wasn't sure if i wanted to film it because lord knows how it's gonna go but if you want to see how i got that then just leave a comment down below and i can show you guys how i achieved this look um it turned out okay i guess but I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair on camera. I'm starting off using the Chi, I think, um, silk infusion. And I'm just applying this all over my hair. This just gets my hair very, very, like, silky and nice and soft. And now I'm just taking a makeup wipe and wiping off any makeup that might have been on the bang. Because I definitely got a lot of makeup on it. Um, I'm going in with this Conair flat iron. And I'm just going to curl my hair with this flat iron. I'm not going for really, really, like, um, defined curls or anything like that just like i just want like little waves kind of little little loose curls um for this look so i'm just gonna go ahead and curl my hair as you can see i was really and you guys can go ahead and watch as i do this because it's pretty much the same thing over and over again so i don't want to just be talking during this process so once i'm done i will be back That is pretty much all it is to this little quarantine transformation. Um, like I said, I really like this hair. Um, it's a very, very good quality hair in my opinion. So if you're interested, the link to this exact wig will be in the description box. So go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will be back very soon. Hi, beautiful. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this zigzag. Um... I'm not sure if it's HG or transparent, but it looks really nice, the lace. Um, but for sure, it'll be in the description box, all the details. Um, and then it is a 26 inch. After I go ahead and spray my um, the Arrogant Tay inspired baby hairs, and I think I'm gonna start doing that from now on. I really liked the way my hair looked, it was really nice. 
Um, again, like I've said in my previous videos, I've been plucking a little differently, and I think it looks a lot more natural. Um, I think um, I know the difference between a good looking wig and like a wig that looks like your hair you know like there's good wigs and then there's wigs that look like your hair and my goal now these days is to make it look like my hair like my hairline like it could be mine you feel me and so I've been going for like a more natural type of hairline if you guys can see um and I have been over bleaching my knots a little bit and I just feel like that gives it just like a nice it's really great really recommend over bleaching your knots I remember I really remember back when I had first had my first frontal and they were like oh my god just please don't push through the bleach at all it was like a, it was like a really stressed thing back in the day um back in my day you feel me but now um totally recommend you over bleach your knots and pushing it through just a little bit not like intentionally but just like sloppily putting the bleach on but um I don't know when this video will go, go up so I just recently did a the plucking and bleaching tutorial and um, the bleaching is what I'm really going with now just leaving it on for a really long time and letting it do its job and when that happens it just looks so good so enough to chat we're gonna start installing my lace throat like how I usually do and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, razor off the excess lace off camera and um, well actually first no I'm lying girl we finna cut off these ear tabs I did that the last install I would like the, the order so we're gonna keep going with It's slightly off center, but it's okay because today we're doing a zigzag part. Very excited to do it. Totally recommend over bleaching your knots, but okay. So we're gonna start raising off our lace, and you know the drill. We're gonna cut into three sections, which will make it ultimately four sections. Or we're gonna cut three slits, which will ultimately make it four sections. And then we're gonna razor off in a zigzag motion with a newer eyebrow razor. Okay, so now our lace is razored off. We can go ahead and push our wig a little back. You know, push that push that wig on back. And go ahead and start doing our layer of bold hold. I got a new bottle of bold hold. Um, where this not over here. In preparation to lay my lace, I have a wet napkin. And what I like to do with this wet napkin is I like to use another old razor and smooth my um, glue out like that. I have several pieces of hair stuck to my glue right now. And once I'm done um, smoothing it out, I'll go ahead and wipe it down with this wet napkin. Okay, so our lace is down and she looks pretty decent. Nothing, nothing to call home about this wrist. This, always the front top part looks always amazing. It never fails. It always looks good. Um, but really quick before you know, I do my usual elastic band that I lost and just now found. Um, before I tie that on, I'm going to be doing a zigzag part. So what I want to do really quickly is just go ahead and try to. At least do the front portion of the zigzags. So while um, my scarf is on, um, or my elastic band is on, sorry, I can um, have this already. At least the front part, I can keep moving. 
it's gonna make sense. It's gonna make sense. I can't explain myself because you feel me? What? You y'all gonna see? I don't want too many. You know, it's supposed to be like a natural type look, or for the baby hairs at least. So. Um, I'm just putting them down like this so I can make sure that it's not too many being pulled out. Yeah, I'm not editing this. So now we can fix our zigzag part. We're just going to go ahead and I have this Easy Edges edge control stick that I'm going to be using to make sure everything stays in place. Um, this first part did it really nicely by itself, but I'm going to go ahead and throw some on anyway. And then I'm going to make sure that everything is really precise. And then once I get my part together, I'm going to go ahead and hot comb it to where it need to be. Okay, I think that's flat enough, and this is what my part looks like. I will be adding some concealer to my part, even though, like, these knots are so, are bleached to, like, perfection. Like, I have no issues with how the part looks, but, um, yeah, I'm going to be fixing this front part when I take my elastic band off, which I'm doing right now, but, um, yeah, I will be adding some concealer to my part, just make sure everything is just bold and stands out a little bit, and my hair looks great. <laughs> my hair looks great. There we go, there, there's the, the final. My hair looks good. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna fix this um, front line and then after that we'll get to move into the baby hair. So here's the mousse I'm using. I'm using Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. And I'm gonna apply it to my hand first because I just don't trust myself. I'm gonna drop it on there and get to moving with my edge brush. Yeah, slow for that. I'm going back to do maybe hair how the way I usually do it because that was too much for me. Okay, so I finished my baby hair, and I have a question. If you do, you guys want me to to leave my baby hair in? Like, I don't know. I feel like I do the same shit. But if y'all care about it and y'all want to see it, like, I'll leave it in there for y'all. I came to a conclusion. My the so good and shiny. And like nothing's wrong with it. Dead ass. That's how it looks on camera, and that's how it looks in real life. As I was flat ironing the hair, it just was so. It was it was just so beautiful. And I also suck because um, I left a lot of conditioner in the hair. Well, not a lot, but like too much conditioner in the hair by accident. So it's a little way down. But other than that, it's so nice. It's time for me to go. Um, all the information on this hair will be in the description box. One last look at the part. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.